What are you doing? Can't fail out. Run up the sail. Jotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This Thank war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Swell with the vast. Ah, a thirsty foe? Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. Ha! <laughs> Fear got you then. Deep in your belly. I've an iron stomach and a powerful thirst. Ever batna til síðasta? Það minni verkir ár beis. Kikka. Have a look, Sunin. Up here. Aid me, be my eyes. Christ, a drop. Munifilm, Fosin, Fusin, and Drake, and the big eyes are 
You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight! Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? What tiny little child approaches? Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Haven't the coin. Okay. Show me. Survey the area, Sunan. Best not to draw attention here.
longer, corpse. See, I should not be seen in this area.
Show me what lies ahead. To the waves. Sail. Catch the wind. Read sail. Can't let the sail out. I love being out on the open water. The chill, the mist, the rolling waves. It gives a feeling of freedom. And then, to look around and see the rising fjords and glinting snow, I think, by the gods, the world is a place of wonder. See there, the vaulted shoulder bones of sad Emir. Puffin seas, his blood, his brains, the soaring clouds. Fashioned for stout warrior by the old father and his kin. For all this, I must give thanks. There you go again, putting feeling into words that none here can match. Try a verse yourself, Dak. Poems are not difficult if you get bent to your feelings. Uh, I would feel my feelings as I always have, without words between them and me. Sail out! King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotun's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song.
Well, well, the Feeder of Ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Hello, Eivor! Oh. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. 
Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Eivor, come to keep Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. I 
tala við mig? You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Can I interest you in a game of Orlok? Orlok? I could do with a round. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let us play. Straight and to the point. May the best hand win. Hey, here you are. Had enough of this. Good day, Alvis. 
You return. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Never mind. That's all you need? I'm off. Be well, friend.
the gods. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! See good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. 
Grant thee, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtle's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtle from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes forward Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. This way, your gift awaits. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. Thought to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then. I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. 
This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. <laughs> 